Bonjour. mort. Following our first lead and we get ourselves caught in a laser net. All in a day's work, right? Smart Alex had a point, but I wasn't gonna let him have the satisfaction of knowing so. There was one good thing about spending hours stuck in a laser net. You've got time to think. Who is this guy? Who killed him? And what kind of surveillance was he doing right across from my apartment? And what's in the metal canister? Have seven years really passed without me remembering it? Is it related to my head injury or the injection mark on my arm? a hell of a party. Party? Yeah, you're here in time for the laser show. I wouldn't do that. <sighs> I was here to meet Carlos Maldonado. Is that you? Or him? Look, I just stumbled onto this little nightmare, and I need to find out who this guy was and what he was doing. I'm a PI, and I assume this guy is Maldonado. My name's Murphy. Who are you? Mason said Maldonado was a PI. Were you working with Mason, too? I'll be honest. I don't know if I was working for Mason or not. Actually, I'm having severe memory problems here. So anything you can tell me about Maldonado or Mason or what's in the cryo chamber here would be greatly appreciated. I think I set up an alarm when I came in here. I don't usually do this kind of thing. I was just trying to help Mason. He said, come in here, find the PI, get the cryo chamber, and keep it safe. Hey, 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 I, I found that first. Slow learner, you have to find Mason. I think he's in big trouble with bad people. I don't know why. He's a neurologist, for God's sake. But you have to promise me that if I let you go, you won't come after me, you'll find Mason. Oh, I promise. My fingers are so frozen, I can't cross them. If your memory problems are part of all this, Mason is the only one who can help you. So you need to find him and bring him back safe just as much as I do. I'll be in contact soon. <laughs> Man, those cops are getting close, but I don't want to leave this place without a clue. I better hurry up and find something before they get here. Uh -huh. Must be the poor guy's wallet. This equipment is surveying several different locations, including my office. Someone knows what I've been up to. 
Um, strictly speaking, I would never encourage anyone to break the law, but those sirens are getting awfully close, and a life sentence for a machine can last a very long time. So move! Mm, tough break, hombre. Not even one crate of mixers. This guy was hardcore. Je crois que j'ai tout pris. Je viens de me casser d'ici vite fait. Alors. Not even one crate of mixers. This guy was hardcore. As I try to make my great escape down the ladder, I find two officials waiting to greet me. Hello, boys. Well. If it isn't Tex Murphy, what were you doing in there? Well, it's a little hard to exp... Oh, you know the drill. I was really trying to get my hands on that surveillance equipment. Maybe I could see exactly what happened to me. Now the only way I'll find it is if New San Francisco's finest decides to play ball with me. I don't know where they'd start now, but I'd better polish up on the old Murphy charm. Whether you're a mutant or a norm, San Francisco's our home. Be a part of the solution to crime. If you see something suspicious, please report it to the SFPD immediately. Make it quick, Murphy. I got about a million things to do. And wasting time on you ain't one of them. Didn't take you long to get in trouble, did it? You here to turn yourself in? Um. Well, first of all, no. And second of all, Danwich, you know me. You didn't have to send your goons down to get me. If you wanted me to come down, just ask me. I'm surprised you remember me. I may not have told anyone this before, but... You're actually my favorite patrolman. In case you didn't get the memo, I head up the department now. And things aren't as loosey-goosey as they were under Malden. Yeah, you seem like a man who likes his gooseys tight. So why is it you think I came down here to turn myself in? Well, we just found you at a crime scene with a dead body. That dead body happens to be Carlos Maldonado, a PI working the same neighborhood as you. Is that your way of intimidating the competition? The name Maldonado means nothing to me. And I insist that you give me a polygraph test to prove it. I was just reviewing your file when you came in. Is that a lot? Because it looks like a lot. August, 2047, Beaton Rees, NSFPD informant. Beaten and hospitalized after providing information about Tex Murphy. Nerees refuses to identify his assailant. No charges ever filed. November, 2048, surveillance video shows suspected extortionist Jen Lee leaving the Golden Pagoda with Tex Murphy, never to be seen again. The case remains unsolved. Shall I go on? In the past few years, you've gained quite a reputation for yourself. You've got New San Francisco's criminal underbelly running scared. You're a cop. Is, isn't that the way you like your criminal underbellies? We arrest criminals so they could be tried in a court of law. We don't just kill them, and I won't tolerate vigilanteism. If you didn't kill Maldonado, what were you doing then? Well, I'm drawn to laser nets like a moth to the flame. I followed the trail and saw that Maldonado had surveillance equipment aimed at my office. I want to find out what he recorded. Who cares what he recorded? If you're such an upstanding citizen, you've got nothing to hide, right? You're not going to check inside my toilet tank, are you? 
I don't even think you're joking about that. You're free to go, Murphy. For now. Any questions? Hello. I'm not sure what to think of you, Murphy. I have no evidence of an abduction. Just a dead body and only one person of interest. It might be in your best interest if you could find out what happened. That whole neighborhood seems to attract more than its fair share of trouble. As far as the coroner and the commissioner were concerned, finding Chelsea's remains in your speeder were enough to pronounce her legally dead. She's an investigative reporter at the Bay City Mirror, one of the less obnoxious ones. I'm not allowed to let you see it. I know Maldonado was a dirtbag, but unless it's in self-defense, killing somebody, even a dirtbag, is a crime and will be prosecuted. That encrypted memory stick probably has some useful information on it. Oh, great advice. If you could help me break it, then I'd be impressed. Guess I'll have to see if anyone else on the street can break it for me. Ça peut être traduit ça par là. Euh, J'ai pas tout écouté à moi hier. Euh... Ouais, je pense qu'il parlait de, de ça. Qu'il fallait euh, décrypter ça. I'll need to find a computer ways to break the encryption on this memory stick. Il y avait pas un deuxième truc Je sais plus. Bon, trouver quelqu'un qui peut décoder ça. Alors. Euh... Ah, c'est ouvert. C'est fermé, fermé, mais là c'est ouvert. Et là aussi. Et là-bas peut-être aussi. Je sais pas si on peut voir d'ici. It's open. Rumor is Zach Williams, owner of the electronic shop, is tied to organized crime. But we've had our problems in the past. For example, the last time I was here, he shot my credit card into a million pieces. <laughs> I'm hoping he's in a little better humor today and doesn't blow my brains out, or even worse. <laughs> okay, I don't want any trouble. Good <laughs> Well, fine now. How much money do I owe you this time? Why do you keep hassling me about that? That was years ago. I pay back all those interest charges. Plus interest. Normally, it's him who wants the money. It's not the other way. You did, huh? Did the Better Business Bureau send the SWAT team in? Everyone knows what happens to people who get on your bad side. Only one reason you ever come in here. And it ain't to buy anything. You know all our stuff is junk. <laughs> I just want to know what's going on upstairs. Look, the guys upstairs don't want any trouble either. They said you can have whatever you want at cost. You can even put it on credit. Then I'll just tear up the bill. Oh, no, I am not falling for that one again. I'm just here to find out about that dead guy upstairs and what he was up to. Look, I know how much you hated Maldonado, and I probably shouldn't have let him use the second floor. But he was paying cash, and he kept a low profile. So I thought it was all good. I didn't know what he was doing up there, and I didn't want to know. So how about you answer a few questions for me, and maybe things will end up a little better for you than they did for, say, Carlos? You the man, okay? We good? Look, I told the cops I wasn't here, which is technically true. I just parked out back when I heard the gunshots. So I just started the engine right back up and got the hell out. You live there, so I'm not gonna say a thing about it. 
That place opened up a couple of months ago. Doesn't look like my kind of joint. I do love Luton's cooking. Just don't ask what's in it and you'll be fine. <laughs> All I know is you ain't the same guy that came slinking in here seven years ago. Sorry to hear about that. Is that what turned you into Mr. Badass? I think he's the one who came by to check in on Maldonado. Must have been a client. Don't know anything else about him. I saw him bringing some cameras, so he must have been recording the surveillance. But whatever he had got confiscated by the cops. I sell items to customers, not purchase them. Mm -hmm. Sure, Maldonado was a creep, but his money spent just the same. He said he needed to do a stake out of the Ritz. Didn't mention any specific names. Didn't sound like a big deal, and he was offering a good chunk of change. <laughs> sure, Maldonado was a creep, but his money spent just the same. He said he needed to do a stake out of the Ritz. Didn't mention any specific names. Didn't sound like a big deal, and he was offering a good chunk of change. Let's just leave me out of this, okay? Mm -hmm. Est-ce qu'on peut remonter Je suppose qu'il n'est plus là de toute façon. This equipment is surveying several different locations, including my office. Someone knows what I've been up to. 